Hi, I'm Jesse Thornburg, the CEO of COPO. After finishing a mechanical engineering degree at MIT, I spent two years leading water projects in East Africa. On a daily basis, I saw the diarrheal diseases that kill two million people every year, and I suffered from some of these diseases myself while in Africa. Today, one in seven people have no access to clean drinking water, and most of these people are not in emergency situations or refugee camps. They're in villages, gathering their own water day after day. The Copo can is our solution for low-cost, culturally appropriate water purification. Just fill it with dirty water and set it in the sun for six hours. The heat and UV will disinfect the water to the microbiological standards of the World Health Organization. An indicator will show when the water's ready. We've also developed a roller that allows multiple Copo cans to be pushed along the ground, greatly reducing the strain required for water transport. Competing water purification companies targeted at developing markets typically use disinfectant tablets, slow sand filters, and microfilters, for example, the $30 life straw bottle. Competing water transport devices provide no purification, for example, the $125 hippo roller. None of these competing solutions fit current cultural practices in sub-Saharan Africa and Southern Asia, and they cost far more than our products, the Copo Can and Copo Roller. Our products are also easier to use and have fewer barriers to adoption because the Copo Can is similar in size and shape to the jugs and jars that target communities already use. The Copo Can and Roller also preserves the custom of collecting water communally. Purification with the Copo Can doesn't require users to switch their traditional practices and drink from a bag or a straw. Our competitive advantage is culturally appropriate, cost-effective, sustainable design as well as low-cost, locally manufacturable products. To ensure Copo's success, I've handpicked a team that's worked in the majority world and is passionate about serving communities in need. We already have one sales agreement signed for our pilot programs this summer in Honduras and Uganda. We also got overwhelmingly positive responses from a customer discovery trip to Rwanda and Kenya. We had a strong start in 2015, being accepted into the Thrill Mill Incubator and Carnegie Mellon's Project Olympus. Together, these two groups have committed $10,000. In November, we received our first letter of intent from Equip International, an NGO working in 15 countries that deploys water purification products overseas. Equip agreed to purchase 100 cans and 20 rollers, so we will manufacture this first run of products here in Pittsburgh from February to May. We will deliver the products at the beginning of the summer and supervise pilot testing of these products in Uganda and Honduras. At the end of 2016, we plan to begin scale manufacturing with a custom mold and blow molding machines. We're excited about increasing water access with these products, and we hope you'll partner with us in moving forward. Thanks for considering COPO.